It's the mission of Gary Comer College Prep to be the best high school in the country at graduating low-income minority students from college. Pretty simply put, that's our, that's our goal. It's, it's really a movement. I think it's, it's about helping students and families create multi-generational change for themselves. Um, education being the main vehicle for that. So in 2006, Gary Comer started the Youth Center, and the, the concept was to find a place where kids can do things productively after school hours, and develop themselves as people, and stay off the street. The high school was founded in 2008. And my role really is to, to manage and, and coordinate with them all the different paperwork and all the little hurdles that can prevent first generation student from being able to access college in the way that, that others are able to, to access it. So Olise got a scholarship to go to Africa this summer. Tanzania. Two, right? Yeah. So he is number one in his class and we're looking for, you know, <laughs> get him a little more experience and uh, really, you know, a great kid, good GPA, good worker, so he deserves his chance. At graduation, they announced that the kids were going to get new smartphones uh, paid for by the Comer Science and Education Foundation. So the, the kids erupted, the parents erupted even more because they knew that they wouldn't have to foot that phone bill anymore. The phone component part of our program is absolutely a huge lever for keeping our students in college. When we made the decision to actually give the cell phones as a gift, we had to search and shop around for a provider because our students were going to be coast to coast. The gift of the phone was to level the playing field and make sure that our students always had access to the technology they needed. And we thought that T-Mobile offered that. It's, it's kind of like a carrot and a stick. So it's a nice gift. It's just a really nice thing to have and an incentive to like, you know, work hard, turn in your report cards and your cell phone plan is paid. We currently have 223 alumni at 63 schools in 25 different states. T-Mobile is our service provider for all 223 plus of those lines. They're incredibly responsive to myself and the other guy that managed the phones with me because one person managing 223 teenagers' phones is no, not going to work at all. My favorite things about Comer are the discipline, the academics, and their belief that the students will go to college and graduate from college. I really didn't think about college before Gary Comer because my parents didn't really go to college. So um, I was given a cell phone and that was definitely a blessing because um, I didn't know how I was going to get through you know, college without keeping in touch with Carlson all the time whenever I needed him. <laughs> how was uh, how's St. Norbert going? So there's lots of stories of how the, the actual having a phone helped a student stay in college, um, which may sound dramatic, but it kind of is true. It's, it's a game changer for our kids in that they know that not only do they have like this wonderful like resource to use for themselves on campus, because navigating a college campus without a smartphone today is, is almost a death sentence in itself. So maybe they don't have a computer in their room because they can't afford it or a tablet or something they can access, but their phone can serve as that and so much more. The T-Mobile phone actually helps me a lot in my schoolwork. It helps me, allow me to check my email. One of the apps I use is Blackboard and Blackboard I'm instantly connected to all my classes and my grades as well. I feel proud of you know, graduating from this school because <laughs> like, I just think about like the students that I graduated with and how they wanted to, you know, transfer. Some of these kids don't even appreciate what C2C, what Gary Comer has done for them. I'm just happy that I stuck with it and I believed in them and I believed in myself. Every student that has graduated from here since uh, 2012, our first two classes, all went to college. What's nice is to see the community at large um, staying connected to our to our mission and just taking pride in the fact that um, you know we have we are on pace to be the best high school in the country at graduating our students from college it's a engine for change around the south side and it's something that, we, that we're really proud of what i'm so proud of is that every single graduate of our school has started college um, at some point we we don't lose anyone um, along the way right near a third of those kids go to the top 50 
colleges and universities, according to the U.S. News and World Report. So they're not just going anywhere. They're going to some great places. They're going to change their lives and their families' lives forever.